What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Simply Love, and I'm back to do a reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign for Aquarius. A welcome, Aquarius. How you guys doing? What the fuck is going on in your life? Well, we get ready to see, okay? <laughs> welcome to my channel. Welcome all you newbies. I really appreciate you guys and you, you ones that have been with me since day one. I appreciate you. All the love, sending you love and light, all that good stuff, okay? So let's see what's going on. What I'm going to do first is uh, give you... I'm going to pick a card from the uh, Mystic... Um, what is this? the hell <laughs> the mystic um misfits this is the mystic Mis mystic misfits deck okay and i'm going to be pulling and then i'm going to read what it means for you if it means anything to you all right holy spirit angels ancestors what's the message what's the uh miss mystic misfit card you have for summer rising venus sign for aquarius can you show us please show us that card for summer rising venus sign for aquarius what's their mystic misfit card there i don't know one. aquarius summer rising venus sign Spirit, what's the message for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? There, that one wanted to come out. There you go. Which, which number one? So, number one is significant to you guys. Look at look at what the number one means on um on Google. Google it. It means something for you guys. Okay, just a second. So witch, the witch is cunning, pr uh, proactive, but um, but cautious in new paths. Um, intel in intellect, skill, logic, perception, analytic, skeptic. Okay, so some of you Aquarius is out there. Maybe you know you're at this. Um, you're just. I don't know. You're coming into a new you. You're using your logic. Your in all this adds up to intuition. You guys may have had a, an awakening. Some of you queries, leave it comments down below. I feel like some of y'all had an awakening to your gifts, your your the people, places, and things around you. You're you're just wake awakening. You had some kind of awakening. I'm feeling like it was around the, that full moon that we had. You know, you had some kind of epiphany, some kind of aha moment, some kind of, you know, psychic energy coming into you, uh, Aquarius. So let's look at something else. All right. I'm going to look at the supernatural oracle. We're going to kind of get four cards here or three cards. Did we do three or four? Something like that. I think we did three. Not sure. Okay, Spirit, hand it to me for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's one. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. What it, what, whoa. Wow. Aquarius, y'all ready to talk, aren't you? You got a lot going on here. I was going to go outside, y'all, but I didn't know what was going on. If it's going to rain, sunshine, I don't know, Dad. The weather don't know what it wants to do. All right, so we got Voodoo Doll. And Voodoo Doll says deceit and ill intention. So Aquarius, there could be someone around you, you know, 
that has ill intentions for you. Somebody could be jealous. Somebody could be trying to do something with you with their, you know, with a doll or, you know, somebody around you is hating on you is all I could say. So beware, be, be cautious. I think you know this already. You know, I think a lot of y'all already know, and I think you already know who and what it is because you had that awakening. So you're like on guard here. You're like really looking at people, places and things, wherever you go, whatever you do, you're on alert because you know you got a hater or two or three. There's no telling, you know, you know, somebody could be trying to mess with your energy here too. Somebody got some ill intentions for you. Deceit. Be careful, Aquarius. Spirit's going to uh, show you because they sh they given you intuition anyway, uh, an awakening. Tarot cards. Some of you may be a tarot card reader as myself, Aquarius. Uh, tarot cards, okay. Wait for clarity. So some of you may be online looking at tarot card readings, trying to find out, you know, information or trying to find out, trying to put a, put something together regarding this deceit. Like somebody's like, I don't know. Somebody hating is all I can say, Aquarius. Somebody hating on you. Somebody hating on you. Uh, pendulum. The pendulum says, hell yes or hell no. <laughs> Some of you may be having uh, pendulum readings. You might have got a pendulum reading on this. So there's some type of clarity coming into you. All right. It's going to be hell yes or hell no. Okay. So uh, go goddess, abundance and prosperity. So a lot of you are uh, are coming into your prosperity and your abundance. That's why I think, that's why I feel like there's a hater around. Somebody knows that you get ready to be prosperous here. You, Somebody knows that you are the goddess, okay? You the queen. You know, you the empress and shit. Somebody knows this and, and they can't stand it. They got ill intentions for you and everything. They they being deceitful, deceptful with this voodoo doll and shit, okay? Like I said, I don't like it. Look, y'all, you know it. Okay, some like I said, some of y'all, some of you are tarot readers. Somebody may be watching you as a tarot reader, and they hating on you, th trying to throw something at you here. So, you know, because they know you, you in prosperity and abundance, and they don't like it. Somebody's hating on your abundance and prosperity, or know you coming into abundance and a prosperity. Some of you, like I said, you may be online as a tarot card reader, or you watching tarot card readers to get some clarity. Um, it's going to be a hell yes or a hell no to the to the to to whoever this is. Okay. Don't get afraid. I tell people, don't be afraid of all this shit because, you know, spirit always watching. Spirit knows who your enemies are. They know who got ill intentions for you and believe you damn well. Uh, uh, you you know, you get an abundance and prosperity any fucking way. Whoever the hater is, whatever the hater try to do or whatever, it ain't going to work, period. Because this was the last card that came up. You're going to have this and, you know, they jealous of it. So they doing deceptive shit to you, Aquarius. Be aware. Okay, experience. Um, I feel like a, this came up with somebody else too. I forget what sign it was, but you going through. You know, it's experience. It's like you know, let somebody walk the walk in your shoes. Okay, somebody whoever's hating on you, they need to walk in your shoes for a moment and see. They need to experience some things that you experience because you know that's why you have this this abundance here. That's why you the God is here. Okay, you you've had some experiences here. Some of this it could be happening or it just could have been some past stuff you know but you 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 already had the experience already you already experienced a lot of things and done a lot of things and that's why you're being abundant here you know you walk that walk and talk that talk Aquarius and you know and some people just don't like it where you going you know maybe you change you know maybe you're an experience maybe you don't change now you know you're awakened now and you ain't the same as you used to be. You don't do the things you used to do. You know, you ain't that yes, yes person all the time. And you know, you're going to have somebody that's going to hate on that. Keep on moving, Aquarius. Don't stop for nobody. Fuck them. 
is somebody in the community here something about the community maybe you well known in the community maybe you get a lot of people that watch you or you know or you conversate with you know in the community it could be somebody in your community um It could be some gossip. Let's see. Let's go on here. Somebody could be talking about you to the community. We'll get into it. Uh, escape artists. Okay. Escape artists. Okay. I feel like this is somebody who's been in and out of your life. This is about somebody who's been in and out of your life or spirit is saying there's something or somebody in, in, about a community situation that you need to run away from. You might need to, you know, run away from something, a situation or somebody in the community. Or some, you know, somewhere you go or somewhere you, somebody you know. It's been an experience for you. I know that much. Look at that one. Okay. Stifled. Somebody's stuck. Somebody is, somebody didn't realize, realize that you were going to be this, this, this goddess here. Somebody can't handle it wherever you're going or whatever you're doing. There's something, I'm just telling you, you just got a hater or haters or something like that. And they're, they're stifled behind it. They just can't believe it. They can't believe you. You're a new person, a new you, something like that. Aquarius, you're not, you're not doing the things that you used to do, or something. For somebody, don't like it. They don't like that. They want you to be toxic, Aquarius. Okay, now what's how does Aquarius feel about their person? What what's going on with Aquarius? Now, this is not for everybody, y'all. So, you know, if it's, if it's not relating to you, these are just general readings. You know what I'm saying? Um, so don't take, don't take it to heart if it's not talking about you, okay? Some of it may, some of it may not. Just depends on who, what Aquarius you read for thousands and thousands of people. General readings. Don't take this shit to heart like that, okay? Just take what resonates and don't even worry about anything else that don't. Okay, what's Aquarius feeling for her person? What is she feeling? What is Aquarius he or she feeling? What is the what's going on with Aquarius and how they feeling emotionally? What are they what are they feeling emotionally? Okay. Oh, okay. Um victorious, accomplishment, and masterful. So some somebody feel so Aquarius, you feeling like, you know, it's an achievement here. You feeling like, you know, you're going to reach your goals with or without anybody in your life. Are you just going to win or this is a win-win situation for you? You know, you feel proud of your damn self. You don't need nobody to feel proud of you. And we all should feel that way. You don't need people to, to, um, to, uh, tell you you're doing a good job or, you know, Lift your spirits up. This is something you should be doing for yourself. You don't need nobody to tell you that. You're feeling proud of yourself. That's how you're feeling. Uh, hateful. Okay, hateful Me. Uh, what is this? Hostile, uh, vengeful, spiteful. That's strange. Why would you have those type of feelings, Aquarius? This is talking about how you feel. Maybe, <laughs> golly. That's strange that you had that type of feeling. Who do you have, have that type of feeling for, Aquarius? That's I'm just let me keep going here. That's strange. Maybe you maybe you felt this way about yourself or something before. Or, you know, there's a heart being uh, maybe you carry some type, maybe there's something inside of you, it deep inside of you that you feel a little A little hateful about maybe you need to release that energy we don't need to be going around hating on anything because it looks like a broken heart like somebody break you could have been you might be spiteful or something about a broken heart or you know it could be towards yourself that's what i'm picking up more or less it could some of you it could be through somebody else and some of you it could be about yourself like maybe you 
broken your own heart or allowed someone to break your heart and you're feeling this way about yourself and spirit is saying you need to let that go let it go let it go um conform comfort it yeah spirit said don't worry about whatever it is don't feel this way about yourself you know you you you're a winner Okay, you a winner, you know, so don't be so hard on yourself is what I'm hearing spirit say. It's like some, some of you Aquarius is just feeling be, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> kind of hateful towards yourself for something, allowing something to happen or something like that. Um, but your comforter, spirit is saying you're comforted. You have, you have a spirit God that's watching after you see that person with that teddy bear, that spirit, that spirit right there saying, we got you. We got you. <clears throat> Reassured, consoled, consoled and nourished. Yeah. You, you okay. Aquarius now, come on now. You all right. You all right. You're being nourished. You're being cared for by your spirit guides. They are looking after you. So, you know, get don't be so hard on yourself. Okay. <clears throat> we got love. <clears throat> 613 on a clock. That may mean something to y'all. You know, look that up. Love, um platonic okay devoted affectionate and tender okay that's what y'all feeling y'all feel you know you know i don't know i just feel like y'all been through some kind of breakthrough here some kind of breakthrough or something but i feel like you got love you always got that love you got you got agape love uh aquarius for something or someone you look at them as being your child. <laughs> like you want to comfort it. You want to hold it just like a baby. Like, and you're devoted to whoever this person is. You're devoted to them. Uh, you, you you show your affection and tenderness toward this person or you want to. This is how you feel about someone, okay? You feel like this. So you feel love for someone. And it's platonic, platonic, you know, that means just for that person only when it comes to love. It's just them. It's no one else that you feel for like this. And you feel like um, this is how you want to, you know, that's, you either want this feeling from someone the way you feel, or you feel this way regarding someone in your life. If, if any of y'all are with it. Now, let's see what your other person, your person is feeling let's see what your other your person is feeling aquarius what's aquarius's person feeling in their emotions what's their emotions yeah aquarius is most of the time when they're in relationships they 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 pretty much in it for no cheating no you know they just like they just want to love they from the heart when they get on something, because you know Aquariuses are fixed signs, and so are Leo, the opposite polar. It's, and another couple, so I forget what the rest of them are. I think uh, Scorpio is fixed sign, but yeah, once they once they love something, they they very you know into it. So the other person feels powerless. Your person feels powerless. They feel like their hands are tied or something. Um, ineffective and weak paralyzed somebody feels whoever you dealing with feels like their hands are tied for some reason they feel paralyzed they feel numb for some type of reason i don't know what's up with that okay how's aquarius person feeling what's their feelings what's their emotions this is how somebody feeling somebody feel like they can't escape something or something like that they feel like they feel like like they can't get a get a hold of you or something i don't know maybe this is within it they're exhausted maybe they work a lot or something like that they feel exhausted fatigue drain and spent that's their feelings maybe they feel like you're exhausted maybe they feel like you're because this is their emotions towards you or how they feel about you this is how they feeling like you maybe they feel like you overworked or exhausted or Maybe they feel like um, they feeling like like your hands are tied or their hands are tied.
I don't know what's going on here. Your person feels that you may need some rest or they may. Yeah, frustrated. What is going on here? Frustrated. Prevented, hindered, or blocked. Somebody here has a, maybe ha, either has, may have a lot going on because you can see this person stuck in traffic. They tried to go somewhere and trying to do something, you know, but it just seems like something's in the way. Something's blocking something. They may feel, that's how they feel. That's what they're feeling. Like they be, maybe they're blocked from you. They feel frustrated. Maybe because they feel blocked from you. They can't get to you or something. Something could be in their way. It, I don't know. It depends on what it is. We'll see in the reading if it pops up. How is Aquarius person feeling? What's their emotions? How do they feel about Aquarius? I, I don't know. Like a, it seems like some insecurities or something unfulfilled, dissatisfied, incomplete, uh, purposeless. Oh, uh, somebody here feel either they feel this way, feel this way about you. I'm saying, how did your person feel about you? They may feel like uh, they're frustrated. Somebody's frustrated here, dissatisfied, incomplete, uh, purposeless. They feel like they're you know, they feel like they're not wanted. Aquarius by you. Somebody feels like they're not wanted by you. And they're very upset about it. You know, they're, they're not fulfilled without you in their life or something like that, Aquarius. That's how they feel. And they're trying to get to you. There's some blockages here. Either they have blockages that's preventing them or blocking them from moving forward. It could be some type of insecurity. It could be that they work all the damn time, being exhausted and tired. Um... They may feel weak, you know. They may feel, have some type of insecurities when it comes to 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 y'all. Okay, let's get into it. What time is it? Twenty two already. Okay, I just got these cards in today. What's the name? I forgot the name of them, but I just Amazon just delivered them to me. I, I, I'm stuck. I put myself on hold with these damn cards because it's like I can build a house of cards with all these fucking decks I got here. Uh, I can build a house of freaking cards. Okay, Spirit, what is the energy? Uh, what's the, going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the uh, messages we have for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Aquarius? Wow, that wow, that just popped out. Some of y'all getting a new beginning or something, starting all over again. Did I do this? Yeah, I did this. Yep. Some of you are starting over. You got the wheel of fortune here or something else is coming around. Remember, we're in uh, Mercury retrograde right now. OK, so, you know, I, and I feel like whatever is coming back around here wants some type of success, you know, a change of heart, something like that. Something something's coming up in, in, in your favor here. Something's coming back around to revisit. And they want some something you or they want something to be successful here because it is the wheel of fortune. Somebody may have went through a change. The princess, what? Oh yeah, okay. The uh, princess of cups. This is the page of cups. They want some. Somebody wants to offer, uh, give you an offer. It may be small or something. You know, uh, some type of offer of love, some type of an apology, some type of um explanation, some type of. Somebody here wants to talk and communicate. It's going to, I feel like it's going to be in a loving way. You know, usually I just, I don't like the page energy, but I do in this with the wheel of fortune though. Somebody's trying to come back around and, you know, they want to ex talk to you, offer you something, apologize, something here, explain something like that, that that's going on. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah. Yeah. The Prince of Cups. Now, remember, this is all just energy. It could be a prince, a princess, something like that. Look at this. Yeah. Somebody coming in here. You know, wanting to, somebody coming here. Somebody, uh, Aquarius, is, is 
somebody loves you here. Somebody loves you here. But it's a gradual, I don't know, it's like this person may be shy or something like that. I'm picking up something about shy. Because they kind of, it's, don't they look, they creep and they walk a little bit. Now they riding in a little bit. You know what I'm saying with them cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's about love. So, uh, it's about an offer, apology. Now let's love. Maybe somebody wants to make love to you, Aquarius, okay? But they, they look like they shy or... or need courage like they it's um, like they need courage like they got to walk in first and then they got to you know then they get on their horse and get the, get their um they get their get their courage up or something and they start riding in somebody's you know kind of smooth walking it or something that's what it looked like to me somebody may even you know visit you first they want to make this offer and then they want to you know ride or visit or something with this freaking cup they got this cup in their hand in both in both of them coming forth with a small you know this saying a little something something they, like i said i feel like this person may be shy or something and then if they you know get a reaction or something like that then they riding in you know what i'm saying now they riding in with a with an offer, a romantic gesture. I, I I just keep hearing shy. Somebody's shy. Yup. Look at this. Okay. Let's see what else we got. I, I'm. Somebody having back problems, Aquarius, is something going on with your back or somebody else's back? Yeah, we got some uh, communication coming in for you, Aquarius. Okay, Spirit, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for June 2021? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Try not to, I'm trying to get these like 30 minutes because we need to be on here all day. Okay. The Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Okay. With the Eight of Cups, I feel like this is somebody you walked away from or will be walking away from because Seven of Cups is telling me, you know, you may have uh, other options here. Or... Because if this right here, this is somebody coming in and it looks like you, you're walking away or something like that, or you have done this, it could have been something that already happened and you're trying to decide about, you know, your options or, you know, maybe mauling over something here. You know, maybe I feel like some of your queries is maybe needed time to mull over who, what you want in life, like what you want when it comes to love because this, this these are all cup cards here it's it's about how you you know what you feel as far as your love life the strength card you're trying to gain some type of strength you're trying to you see how this person is sitting on top of this lion somebody uh, has a you know gaining some kind of strength and courage in this situation could be dealing with the leo again cancer pisces scorpio you know, maybe you're trying to tame yourself. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's something, you know, you're trying to tame within your life when it comes to your emotional state, what you want in a love situation, observing or, you know, uh, trying to figure out, you know, what, what cup that would be beneficial to you because these cups got all kind of different stuff in it. I, I don't know. I feel like some, you may be trying to, um... Keep your eye on the prize. This may be a temporary uh, walking away. Like maybe you just got your back turned to something, a situation, and you're trying to figure things out like what's best for me. That's what I'm picking up. Like what's going to be best for me in this situation? There's love coming in here big time. If this is not the same person, you it could be two. 
It could be two, one younger, one maybe middle-aged, okay? A middle-aged person or, you know, could be round, you know, somebody could be younger, somebody could be a little older. Let me just put that way. I don't know about no age. But you're trying to, you know, figure out which is going to be best for you. That's what I'm figuring. You got some, you got some options here, Aquarius. Or you will be. Okay, what are the messages for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Aquarius? Hmm. So you got the Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is an energy of a twin flame energy. Like you may be hooking up with your twin flame. It's somebody that has to gain their courage or something. Something you're trying to, you know, stay strong about. Or you have been strong or you've been tamed. Maybe you tamed something here. Either if it's you or it could be somebody. Because uh, you're wanting this for a uh, pentacles energy you want to uh you know the the stable something stable here there's something stable and solid here uh there's something that could have been transformed here because of the butterfly in the background it could this could be it's twin flame energy and i like that uh, aquarius let's keep going here the queen of pentacles yeah um you want stable, this is a stable, firm foundation with someone. I feel like you're in transformation mode for some reason for some of y'all. Hit the comment section. And I feel like this is your energy now. Like you're very stable. You got your coins. Um, you're looking good, smelling good. You're very kind and generous and sweet. You're trying to find your connection of who can you share this love, I'm hearing that song. You got the love and feeling. Oh, that love and feeling. Yeah, you're, you're trying to figure out, oh, the world card. Where you need to go from here when it comes to love. You want something stable. Some of you may be getting a new house with that four of wands there. Or you're getting some type of stability here. It's very grounded, very stable a firm foundation you want a firm foundation you want to work with somebody that with and, and develop this firm foundation with spirit saying so i don't don't know what they said okay now the world card okay the world card is like leaving it's like a ending of a cycle, okay? Some kind of cycle is ending here or has ended with the world card here. And you're moving on to working on this stability here. You know, your twin flame. It also could mean um, if it was a temporary pause with somebody that you've been involved with or vice versa. And you're weighing out your options here. Like, what should I choose? It's kind of like you're on just, you're just trying to figure out um, your stability. Where's things going? Where, where, what's th where's things going? Where, where are you going? You know, thinking about your future here. and you, It's going to be stable and solid with or without anyone. But you're weighing out your options. I'm saying some of you Aquarius is out there got a choice a choice to make here between two people and you're you're mauling it over trying to figure out what's going to be best for you in your future so you're staying strong you got courage and everything you tame the beast inside of you staying patient here to figure this out Whatever it is, it's going to work out in your favor with the world card here. You're definitely going to be prosperous. No wonder people, there's going to be, somebody going to be mad out of this situation because of who, who you may pick, okay? Somebody's going to be hurt. Third, you know, this three of, of uh, swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It may hurt you to move on from somebody here is what I'm saying. Or for some of you, you're you're getting out of a third party. Hmm. 
What is this Three of Swords? Spirit, what's this Three of Swords? And then I'm going to look at that Seven of Cups because something here. And then I'm going to get off of here. I ain't staying on here for an hour, y'all. The Seven of... The Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about divine timing in this situation. The Seven of Pentacles is about, you know, investing in something and see what comes out of it. Maybe you were, maybe you were heartbroken in something that you invested in or thought that was going to be something and it wasn't. It just caused a heartbreak. You invested in something and, you know, you've been very patient with it. What's this seven of coins? Possibly a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The five of swords. What is going on here? Somebody wants to win at all costs here. Somebody could be a narcissist energy somebody could have but somebody was selfish okay this is what i'm getting somebody was selfish in a relationship that you put a lot of hard work and energy in you see somebody giving somebody giving you the, uh, the uh, somebody somebody here for some of you has got a vengeance out or don't like you or can't something here is going on Whoever it is or whatever it is, I feel like you put a lot of time and effort and money and all that type of stuff in on it. And, and, and they broke your heart here. There was some heartbreak here. I'm feeling some of this is the recent past. Or for some of you, it could be happening or will happen. Wow, this is something, Aquarius. Y'all readings always, sometimes they smooth and sometimes they just all over the place. But somebody I feel like ain't. Somebody wanted to win at all costs. Somebody was manipulative in, in your life. And it caused a heartbreak. Somebody you invested in. Time, money, and, you know, thought it was going to go somewhere. But somebody was manipulative and playing mind games with you, Aquarius. And it caused you having a broken heart. Also, somebody had you in a third party as well. Possibly still does. But they're playing games or was playing games. It might be this King of Wands here. The King of Wands is very flamboyant, okay? But they are in the upright. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Somebody might have fire, a uh, fire sign, or they have fire in their chart. They were very egotistic or something. Very kind of selfish, sort of selfish. Whoever this person was that you invested in, they were kind of selfish, self-absorbed. Okay, three, four. Mm -hmm. but you got a king of pentacles here. There's two people here. You got a king of pentacles and you got a, a king of wands, you know, wow. And then there's two here with a love offer. So a lot of you, uh, you got two people to, you know, figure out, to figure out who you going to let in, who's going to be the prize or whatever, who you going to let into your little palace here, okay? I feel like, you know, you want someone that you can, you know, grow with together and build a firm foundation. You want your um your uh, twin flame here, which is, that's what's going to be here, but you have to figure out and use your intuition and stuff of who it's going to be because we got one here that may be a hater or hating on you with it like this or manipulating you or, you know, because of your finances or something like that. So they can, you can invest in them. That's what I'm getting to. Whoever you choose here, somebody is going to get their heart broken. It's either this King of Wands or King of this. Now this is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here. This is a stable the King of Pentacles has been coming out in a lot of readings, and this is the one that's stable. This is the one that 
This is the one that um, you can build a firm foundation on. This is the one you can rely on, dependable, work hard, okay? They have that they know how to have things in their life. And this one here is a little, just a little, they're a little flamboyant here, a little uh, arrogant. You know, you got a selfish one and you got one that's like kind of, you know, uh, very grounded, okay? V got a grounded energy, uh, a laid back energy here. Uh, somebody, like I said, you can rely on and depend on. On. Let me get one more card and let me get because it's 339. 3946 on the clock, y'all. If that means something in this situation, okay. Somebody you've been guarded from or guarding yourself from, or you've been through a lot of shit with. There's one of them you've been through a lot of shit with. The other one is I feel like a new energy. It's a new energy for somebody here. Or it could be for some of you, I've heard that this person may have changed from being selfish to being very kind and very given. For That's another scenario. The Ace of Cups. Somebody got a lot of love for you, Aquarius, here. Somebody is very much in love. I'm also hearing here that somebody could have been holding back on their emotions, not telling you how they feel, nothing. And... But they've been feeling this way all along and they've been lying about it or keeping it to their self. I'm hearing that energy too. I'm going to let it go at that Aquarius because it's, it's 440, it's 4044 y'all. That Write that down. That might mean something regarding this uh, situation too. If you'd like to have a personal, just let me know. Uh, everything's listed below. Oh, I got a, um, a short uh, seven minute trying to see if I dropped anything on a short seven minute um meditation muse uh a meditation out you guys it's on my channel here use that at this time because you know we going through some stuff now with this great awakening. There's some decision makers that we have to have. And it's also healing for, you know, childhood wounds and stuff like that. Like I said, it's only seven minutes long. Use it every day for 30 days. And it's going to help release all that uh, negative energy uh, or things that you're carrying from like childhood and things like that. Um, instead of keep coming to the channel all the time, you, you know, take that challenge there. Just um, under in the description, I got the link to the Spotify Spotify um, contacted me and, and, you know, offered me to put it on, on the platform. So I did that, you know, I gave them permission to go ahead and put it on the platform. So you can download, you can go to Spotify, just go to my description in that video and click on the link. It's right there. All you got to click on it. It'll take you straight to Spotify and you can download it on your phone, computer or whatever. And you can use that, you know, instead of keep coming back to the page and, and, um, and, uh, use that for 30 days. I uh, The best time for me when I found myself using it is at nighttime before I go to bed. A lot of y'all, you know, like I said, this is, you know, decision times for a lot of people here, you know. Okay, what, what, um... What love yourself message we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Give me two cards, please. Give me two cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for their love themselves card. And you can also, you know, take this and jot these down and have it say it in the daytime and then at night before you go to bed and watch your life start to change. Okay, here's one. I'm my own person. I don't have... I don't have to explain myself. Yeah, that's true. You don't. You don't have to explain yourself to no one. You come here alone. You're leaving alone. Period. So what? Do you, what? What we worried about? What? What other? What you got to explain to other people for? Do you don't owe nobody no explanation about nothing. Okay, I'm. I'm deserving of. Of taking time out to do the things I love. Yeah, that came up in your reading here. A lot of your Aquarius is just like putting shit on pause so you can just like kind of find yourself here. Because like I said, a lot of y'all had some type of an epiphany. Okay, we're not going to worry about the haters because you do got a hater. It could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be somebody around you, Aquarius, that's hating on you because they know that you're going to, uh, that you're progressing, you're 
you're moving forward and, and they just don't like it. Maybe you're just not the same person that you used to be and they, you know, want you to be that same person and you're not. You're just, you know, you're excelling here in life and don't worry about whoever this person is. Don't worry about it. You know, spirit wanted you to know that, but don't worry about it because they're going to reveal it to you for one thing and then there's nothing that they can do that, you know, spirit's going to, you're protected. You're definitely protected. We've seen that in your emotions card. You're protected here. You're very protected. Some spirit God or ancestor is dealing with whoever this is that may be trying to, you know, trying to stunt your growth or whatever it is. They jealous or something. So there you go, Aquarius. I love you guys. And what the fuck? On out of here. Y'all take care. I love you. And um, hit the like button on the way out. Bye.